For the second year now, this field of crosses is out for people in Kelowna to come and look at. The names that would normally be on the cenotaph now represented here as white crosses in the ground. Each of them is a story, and it's incredible how young some of them were. Like this one right here, 18-year-old James Dundas. 94 kids, 25 and under, are represented by those crosses. 27 of them are 20 years of age and under. And I think it's just something that the kids from the school hopefully get an idea of these kids are just like their older brothers and sisters and they went overseas. These are our boys. You know, this is, uh, uh, you, know, you know, when you think about over 100,000 Canadians having died uh, in the service of their country, that's a big number and it's just hard to wrap your heart around it uh, at a certain level. But when you see the names on that cenotaph and you see those names duplicated on those crosses, and you know that these were all lads from the Kelowna area. It just brings it, literally brings it home. I mean, you're going to find people on the cross. You see the age beside their name. And so this one is Derek Bond, who was 22 years old. He was a petty officer. He was with the 13th Squadron RCAF. And he died on the 15th of May, 1944. So that's how you can tell the information on the crosses. It gives the date that they died, the age when they died, their name and their rank, if we have that. And these are real people. That's what we have to try and bring them to life. And these are real people who had brothers, sisters. There are several sets of brothers on them whose names are on the crosses. And there are cousins and there are high school buddies that all went off to war together. And they, a lot of them didn't come back. These crosses represent the people who left Kelowna went over to Europe to fight in the First World War, the Second World War, or the Korean War, and didn't return. The crosses will be lit up in the evening for people to come and have a look, and they all come down the day after Remembrance Day on November the 12th.